Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Brixie and today we're going to be doing some BCNMs. For today I'm going to be doing Amphibian Assault and for this method we're actually going to use the Summoner and Black Mage Burn method that we have been using for experience. Uh, we just kind of wanted to try it out and see if it would work for this as well. And it was okay. It's not the greatest method but it works perfectly fine. This method will easily get you the clear just like any other method would. And you know this is more fun so why not. On entry, we're going to do buffs like Stone Skin, Blink, Re-Raise, you know, the typical mage buffs because this method heavily relies on Sleepka and just keeping things asleep. So we're going to be taking hits, so you definitely want at least Blink and Stone Skin. Once everybody has recovered their MP, we're actually going to do a kill order. And this is just what's worked best for us. We decided to kill the Bard first because they can sleep us, and sleeping us is an easy way to die. So we're going to do the Bard first, then we're going to do the Dragoon, then we'll do the Monk, and we'll save the White Mage for last. And specifically Benediction, we want that last because they can wake everything up and it's just not a fun time to constantly have to sleep things. And also you can Aspear them so your mages can keep their MP up. So we're going to do Burning Strike into Tail Whip for detonation. And Arrow 3 is the strongest spell you have at level 60, so we're just going to Magic Burst a bunch of arrows. If done correctly, that should easily melt a majority of the targets. The main exception being the White Mage, because they do have the Benediction. Whenever you try to Magic Burst, they are going to recover to full HP. And as you see there, the Bard melted pretty quickly. There was not really any issues. Nobody got hit. And that was a pretty clean kill. So we're just going to wait for our Blood Pact Rage timer to come back. And then we will jump on the Dragoon. Because each fight takes us about a minute because of Blood Pact recasts, it's probably a good idea at this point to sleep two on the White Mage, just to keep them slept. And we're just going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do Burning Strike into Tail Whip for detonation, and then all the Black Mages are going to Magic Burst that. And again, Dragoon is just going to melt immediately. Uh, there's very little issue in this method as long as you do everything correctly. However, things can go wrong. You can miss Blood Packs. Uh, you could be hit through blink and interrupted, you know, there's things that can happen. But if you play correctly and you play accordingly, you should have no issue with this method. Here the white mage actually wakes up, so we're just going to put it back to sleep. And wait for a recast yet again, and then we're going to jump on the monk. And the monk is possibly an issue because it does have 100 fist. Uh, it can actually do a lot of damage if you let it. But again, as long as we do the burning strike into tail whip for detonation and all the magic bursts go off, Again, not really much of an issue, as long as it does get burned down, you know, 100 fist doesn't do much if you only get to swing once. And for the monk, it's probably not a bad idea to have one of your black mages just opt out of magic bursting and casting a stun instead, just to eliminate that 100 fist threat. That seemed to work pretty good for our group, and that poor little fishy melted, so he wasn't much of a threat. And finally, we're going to start working on the white mage, and basically the goal here is to just force benediction. You don't want to blow a whole lot of damage into it like we did here because you're just wasting MP. And once it does a benediction, stun it, put it back to sleep, and wait for your recast once again. So we're just going to release our avatars here and wait. Once your timers are back, you can go ahead and open up your last skill chain and magic burst. That should be enough damage to go ahead and knock out the white mage. You will see here, however, that the Sahagans all have a move that they can do called Spinning Fen. And it's AoE stun, and it kind of completely shuts down what we want to do as skill chaining and magic bursting so that can happen watch out for that however i think out of all six times we've done this fight that's the first time we actually seen that happen so it can be an issue however it usually is not but yeah there you go that is summoner and black mage method for amphibian assault works pretty good it's slower than like a tp melee burn method but it's fun I like it. Summoner and Black Mage is it's just fun to play. And yeah, if you found this helpful, definitely like, comment, subscribe as per usual. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, check out this drop pole. This is crazy. Uh, I think this was Knowledge's run and and good grief, they had jackpot. They got a feeble torque, elemental torque, uh, phalanx, and also a light ore. That's crazy. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!